Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be jumping into the TNB Trails map, which is a work in progress. This is the public work in progress version, and it will be linked in the description box down below. Now, fortunately, this map is available on both PC and consoles, and while this truck is not available on PC and consoles, this is only a uh, PC truck, we will be recommending, of course, that you take Frog's Custom Crawler here, which is available on consoles consoles at least currently unless it has been pulled for updates depending on when you watch this video. So without any further ado let's go ahead and fire up this heavily built crawler rig and see what this map has to offer. Now I decided to go with the Toyos on this thing because they have been really really dependable for me in terms of grip and in terms of like just predictability especially on the rocks and I also have to say the rocks are a incredible standout feature of this map the quality of the rocks is absolutely it's absolutely wild there's no other map that has i mean first of all look at the view i mean the view is nuts the view is farther than probably any other map would ever even think of being and the rocks just look so incredibly good now Quick disclaimer, the rocks do not look the same on consoles. They still look okay, but they definitely do not look this high quality or this realistic. These rocks are designed to look very realistic, and the amount of texture work that goes into making the rocks look like this is very, very extensive. So let's go ahead and make our way up over this little ledge right here. Come on. Might need low plus for this. I'm not completely sure. Depends on if, if we have to actually, like... Oh, there we go. There we go. Three quarters throttle in low plus definitely got me to where I needed to be. So, a couple of other vehicles that I would definitely recommend for this map are... Especially if you're on PC, I would definitely recommend uh, Red's Bronco Crawler. That thing is a monster. It's such a great rig. And, again, Frog's Custom Crawler would be a big recommendation of mine, no matter whether you're on... Uh, PC or console because Frog's Custom Crawler, the beauty of that is the fact that not only do we now have a proper crawler vehicle, but we have a map that you can genuinely push the limits of a crawler on. And I don't mean just test the limits, I mean push the limits. This is a map that when, say, for example, Frog and Red or other members of their modding team are testing out their new rigs to see how well they, they do, they bring them here. And there's a reason for that. Because this map, like I said before, offers so much. It looks like there's even a giant racetrack down there with banked corners. And that's the other reason why I wanted to bring this particular truck. Because I wasn't quite sure what I would run into other than trails. And so I wanted to bring something that was really good on the trails. But also had a little bit of speed to it. Also had a little bit of power to it. And also had some good suspension travel in case we ran into some more high speed stuff. So... Let's see how she does up this rock section very well. Working to try not to... Ooh, there we go. I know I kind of got hung up on my diff a little bit, but I would rather do that than go way over to the edge and potentially fall off. Now, look at that flex for a second. The, the flex that this thing has is absolutely wild. And it's crazy to me when people look at this thing and they're like, Oh my god, it's just a mall crawler. It's just a show rig. Not really. This thing flexes like crazy. Oh, we got a bridge down there. I have no idea how to get to it, although I'm sure you could get to it very quickly if you just took the quick way down, but that's not what we're here to do. We're actually here to see what this map genuinely has to offer. Now, there are a couple of Mudrunner maps that this kind of reminds me of right off the bat. I don't remember the names of those maps. However, you guys actually probably remember the maps that I'm talking about that were super huge and just, they were this this wide wide expanse of seemingly and endless trails and let me tell you right now i'm really glad i've got 47s on this thing and not whoa whoa that was close but yeah i'm really grateful i have a 47 on this and not a 37 because i feel like these trails would be no good thing i had a little bit of a winch grab in uh, instinct right there because holy smokes that was so close that was so close to me being completely done. Now, this section of the trail is a little bit dark because you're kind of behind where the sun would be, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's just something you're gonna have to deal with on this particular section of trail. 
Now, is that a... Oh, that looks like a way down. Or a way up. Whoa, so we got like a proper road up there. And you can go left or right out of the garage. It really depends on which way you want to go. Although that... Whoa, first light. Whoa! I don't know if it's an actual watchtower or if it's some sort of locator, but let's see what we can find. Making my way through, just trying to be a little bit on the careful side. Although, on trails like this, there are some areas where you just literally just have to send it. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make it up the other side. So, easy does it. Easy with, like, probably 80% throttle right about now. We're not full throttle. Come on. Come on, find your grip. Especially the front axle. Find your grip. This is some genuinely hardcore trailing and genuinely hardcore crawling. And if you're if you're bringing a vehicle out here, it better be something that's ready to get, you know, ready to get into some tricky situations. But, yes, but the Cat Eye Duramax pulls through. I mean, look how far you can see. Far enough to where the terrain starts to get a little jagged, that's for sure. And you can go down that way towards the paved road if you'd like. And it's sort of a wash out sort of a mudslide that you can drive down if you wish i'm gonna go ahead and actually repair the truck real quick so we can fix up that body damage but if you want to take that wash out um you feel free to do that but we also have a fuel trailer right here which is very nice let's see what's down here especially at that first light whoa it's a scenic overlook i guess that way well we haven't gone that way <laughs> and there's more whoa that looks like a giant like stair stepping rock trail We'll definitely have to check that out either either soon or in a future video or potentially in a stream because I feel like there's so much of this map to explore that you're not doing it in a single video. Come on. Truck just, like, wanted to change way down in terms of gearing right there. I'm just going to set it in high for the rest of this little trip. Whoa, okay, I was really, really nervous there for a second that that was going to turn into, like, a big jump or something. Although, that does look like a watchtower to me. Got a cabin up here where you can chill if you want to. Can you imagine the type of views you'd be dealing with if you had a cabin like this? Holy smokes, dude. Make my way up that little dirt mound. Nothing too crazy out here, to be brutally honest with you. There's not really a lot that you would have to worry about. But, boom, watchtower opened. I cannot even imagine. Oh my. Whoa. Wow. The amount of like. The amount of verticality that's on display here. Is nuts. And what's really cool about it. Is that it shows you. The trails you just drove through. When you get to that first watch point. And there's that other trail that we could actually go to if we wanted to. I love that. I love that. That's. That's sick. Okay. Let's. Hmm. Although, the funny thing about that is the fact that it didn't really do anything for the actual, like, long run of, you know, the long run of uncloaking the map. It only uncloaked that corner. Mildly disappointed with th by that, but that's not really disappointment with the map. That's just disappointment with how much area the, you know, the watch point actually revealed. Alright, so let's get back on the dirt road now and head towards the paved road. We're gonna use the washout to hopefully get down a little bit quicker. Whoa, look at that! Look at that! That, like, winds its way through the hills. The interesting thing about going this way is that there's really no set trail. Nice way to rip a mirror off right there, but there's really no set trail going down this way. It's just kind of however you find your way down this wash, which makes it very creative. And what is all that red? That is, I believe, missing 3D objects. That's probably a glitch on my end and not a glitch on the map's end. Although I know they did say that it was work in progress, but I have had that specific issue before on other maps that don't you even think about rolling. Nope. Uh-uh. All right, let's go. I'll probably... What is that? That is weird. Yeah, that's some sort of weird missing texture. Uh, that's probably something on my end or something to do with some sort of very strange uh, texture glitch. We'll figure out how to fix it a little bit later. I'll definitely reinstall the map and see, but this is the first area where I've run into it. So we could go down this way, or we could stay on the pavement and continue that. Good lord, this map is huge! It's it's huge, and I know that... I, okay, I said huge twice, but still, it is so incredibly large 
And I know I keep using the word expansive, but that's the word that comes to mind when I look out over the terrain of this place. What is this weird little trail? It's like ultra tight. Now, granted, I'm sure they plan on adding rocks to this later on down the road, but even as it sits right now, it's a little, uh, it's a little nerve-wracking. Because if you fall off, you're kind of out of luck because there's no trees. There's no trees or stumps to winch to to save you. And I feel like that... Yo! That's supposed to be a dam, basically. That's awesome. The way they used, like, a tunnel piece down there and the water coming out the bottom. Okay, yeah, that's really freaking cool. But in the future, I know that... Ooh. Ooh, I would love to see if I can connect over to the racetrack. Yes! Oh, we're going for the racetrack. This is gonna be sick. Come on. Oh, come on. Make it to the top of the hill, please. I'd really appreciate it if you would. Thank you. Can I just drive over the back of this? I, I, I hope so. Yeah, again, I just gotta make sure I don't roll. Because if I roll, I'm kind of out of luck in terms of trees that can save me. Rotating the front end around. And now pushing it forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was almost very bad. Yeah, 0 out of 10. Would not recommend. Woo! All right. Position the weight where you want it, and you're good to go. Now, this racetrack has some very, very, very heavily banked corners. I'm not sure which is the right way to run it, but let's find out. And since we're about to hit a racetrack, we might as well put the... Um, high power engine in it or at least the max performance i had the performance engine in it before let's go ahead and throw the max performance in it now whoa whoa go oh god whoa all right come on keep it on the racetrack bud holy crap the way this thing jumps is wild that's the trail we were on earlier all right again like i said i have no idea if we are going the right way or not but either way it's a really fun track right way or not uh oh yep that went real well please thank you back it up i would appreciate it if you would thank you all right let's go Ooh, easy definitely gonna be one where i feel like i'm just gonna keep it in high range because high range is fast enough to maintain speed and momentum for some drifts but it's also fast enough it seems to have a good, like, you know, good departure off the jumps. And there will be some damage involved, I'm sure. But, wow! Thing stays really dang planted off the jumps. Careful. Let that front end dig in. On the power. Dude, this thing loves to turn on throttle. That's awesome. Whoa! Oh, that... What? So, it's this circuit and a bigger circuit? Where does that go? I'm confused, but intrigued. Again, probably going the wrong way, but I still want to find out what's out here. This, on the other hand, in terms of like, okay, the previous racetrack, I thought it was pretty uh, extreme, but it's kind of tame compared to this. The angles that this track has are not like anything I've ever seen before, that's for sure. Oh, build up that power. Over the jump. Get into the power again. Scrape the bumper hard. Really jammed it into the ground. I'm really glad I brought this truck, though, because this thing, like I said before, it's great on the trails, but it can also do racetrack stuff. Get into the power. Yeah, a little bit of a slide there. Not bad. Woo! It's quick! Oh, God. Oh, don't go off that edge. Don't you dare go off that edge. Okay, I know we kind of, like, had a very weird slip there, but you know what? I'm good with it, because we didn't go off the edge. And going off that edge is not something I'd be down for. We were on two wheels for a second there. The wheels were only a little bit up off the ground, but my God. All right, let's get it moving. Slide it around. Power it through. Left, left. You go left. Come on. Go left, bud. 
This place is... This place is wild. This place is so wild. I don't even... Like I said, I don't even know where this racetrack goes. Like, that's what I love about it, is that this racetrack seems to, seems to just go on and on and on and not really with much of an end in sight. And it's not that I want to find the end, but at the same time... I am a little confused as to whether or not it's supposed to loop back into the other track, or maybe it's just, like, a sprint track that only goes, like, a certain direction. I don't know. Whoa, that's a weird place to put a jump. All right. That's the other reason why I can't really tell if I'm going the right way or not, because I feel like, in my head, like, that jump, I'm like, well, that jump was weird going that way, and then I'm like, well, it would be really weird going the other way, too. A random little area out here as well. These, like, work-in-progress maps are so insane to see, like, in the beginning. And my god, this map, when it's done, is going to be ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that this is going to be like anything we have ever seen before by the time it is done. And, dude, I will tell you that... Ooh, we got it. Actually, it looks like we might have a watch point down here. But, yeah, I will tell you that and i will stand by this when this place is done or even when it's remotely close to done it will potentially be the most like in all inclusive testing ground that you have ever seen let's see what this looks like down here once we reveal that watch point i'm staying flat out i don't even care that flat out off the jump whoa a little iffy on that one but that's all right and where's my all right there it is i was like where's my watch point watch tower open let's go Dude, that's awesome. The scope of the landscape. The scope of the landscape is absolutely freaking wild. But yeah, definitely a work in progress build, but one of the coolest work in progress builds that I've ever seen. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on this map, especially if you've played it in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time.